breaking news. A few moments ago, Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space. With first contacts made in national capital. Our reporter Purple Sparkles is live in Wellington. What can you tell us, Purple Sparkles? Thank you. I am Purple Sparkles reporting live from Lambton Quay. As you can see, there is panic and terror in the streets as New Zealanders have woken up to find aliens throughout our towns and cities. These space invaders seem capable of destroying the country and the planet unless we give them what they want. The risk of harm to the public is very real and... Are you there? Sparkles, we appear to have lost our signal. Now, in a bizarre exclusive, an alien has taken one of our reporters into their space vessel to broadcast their demands. Standing by is Scooby Roo. What's happening there? Well, yes, it is very tense here. What we can tell you is that these alien creatures smell like a really awful mix, mixture of wet, wet dog and fart. It looks as if one of the aliens are going to address us through a special translation device. Ah, oh, people of the Earth, listen carefully. We are the super beings of the planet Oprah from the galaxy of Oompa Loompa. We demand you humans for the fo following things in no particular order. We want golden crusty toenails. We want all the peanut butter. We want $10,000 worth of Robux. If you do not give us these things as soon as possible, we will destroy you with all our gummy bears. You have three days, that is all. Well, there you have it. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? Make your voice heard on Twitter using the hashtag OMG Aliens. Currently, the government is preparing to make a statement. So we cross now to parliamentary reporter Pickle. Thanks, Fizzy. Crowds have gathered here, but many are still on their way to work. Some people are quite unaware. Aliens have invaded people. Wake up. Be afraid. Here comes the Prime Minister to address the nation. Tēnā koutou katoa, people of New Zealand. This is your Prime Minister asking each one of you to remain calm. It is important that we do our best to make these space aliens feel welcome. We must display all the friendly qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a porphyry later today. Then I will join the alien leaders on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country. Our hope is that these beings will move on to Australia. If you come across one of these creatures, we recommend that you hold your breath, smell, and then quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. That is all. Thanks, Prime Minister. Now, where to from here? To help us answer this question, we have collected a panel of alien experts to discuss what you at home can do to get through this event. Can you hear me there? What should we all do? Well, the first thing we should all be doing is running to the aliens to get their signature and then we sell it on eBay for $1,000 and those gummy bears are scary. Obviously that's completely foolish because what we should do is run. If we run, they can't catch us. I mean, they'd probably catch him. You two dim-witted idiots are both wrong. We should steal their ship and sell it on eBay for one cent. One cent's not enough. Hmm. Well, so much for the opinions of the experts. Are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's look at the mayhem happening up and down the country. Thanks, Fizzy. Let's have a look at what's happening out there. In Auckland, there's an outage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. In Wellington, the railway station has become an alien transit lounge where they are relaxing in preparation for killing us all. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where aliens have formed a very strange partnership with the region's car community. And in Dunedin, creatures have been 
been spotted rolling down the world's steepest street. The aliens are said to be extremely dizzy and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement now. Back to you, Fizzy and Botswana. Finally, we interview someone who claims they have a close encounter with the creatures from outer space. Our reporter here clips is with that person right now. I'm here with Miss Picklebum, who's <laughs> they were once abducted by aliens. Crazy. <laughs> banana. Some of them are made out of bogies and toenail clippings. How has this experience affected you? It's affected me lots. They sucked out my brain. Now I don't even know what one plus one is. Do aliens fart? Yes, very much so. <laughs> they do. They do the biggest and smelliest farts. Well, Ms. Picklebum, thank you very much for your time. Back to the studio. Thanks, hair clips. Well, I'm going to run home to my mummy. And I'm going to eat as many lollies as I can until I get sick or the aliens get me. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates or follow our live stream to watch the end of humanity as it happens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrifying and foul-smelling aliens have mercy on us all. Kia kaha, everybody.